Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing a lovely model launched in 2014 and built rarely. About a one and a half model year timepiece. This is the reference 510203. The Portuguese are hand wound eight days. A lovely 43 millimeter steel watch in the image of IWC's most iconic individual model family. The original oversized dress watch launched as reference 325 back in 1939. The idea at the time, prompted by the Portuguese importers of the IWC brand, was to create a wrist watch with the accuracy of a pocket watch. Pocket watch movements were large and thus more precise. So IWC created a dress watch the size of a pocket watch, the better to hold an accurate pocket watch caliber, and that's exactly what we have here today. So stainless steel and relatively slender, the watch is only 12.5 millimeters thick, and you can really see that with the shallow profile concave bezel, it's quite easy for a dress cuff to step up over the side of this watch. It is a broad watch across the wrist, and you can see from lug to lug it has a significant span of 51.2 millimeters, but the shape of the lugs here matters as much as the span of the lugs, and you can really see the good effect that they turn almost 90 degrees from the plane of the case. It's an almost perpendicular curvature, so they wrap around the wrist. If you're borderline for this watch, and I would consider borderline about 14 and a half centimeters circumference, I still think you're going to be able to make this one work. Now the spacing between the lugs is 22 millimeters and that's a feature the historic Portuguese did not have. So there's a better match between the width of the lugs, the size of the case, and the width of the strap. So it looks more like a modern watch and not quite so pencil necked on the wrist as a vintage piece would. The watch has a substantial strap. The first thing I need to mention is its large rectangular scale alligator leather, semi-gloss, black, monotone stitch with sheer sided construction, but a very thin sheer side showing you the layers put together. And then on the underside, it is the signature signal orange of IWC's OEM strap supplier, Santoni of Italy. So this is an Italian made Santoni strap. You can't see the orange when it's on the wrist, but it reminds you that you're wearing a strap that's a cut above, pun intended. Rolling over to the buckle, you can see it's a handsome full deployant. No pin buckles here. You're getting a full deployant that is nicely media blasted inside, polished, and as you can see on the buckle externally, it is also satin finished. So you get satin finish, you get polish, and you get media blasting. It's a triple finished clasp, very secure and substantial to help counterweight this weighty watch when on the wrist. Jumping in close, you can see one of the signatures of the Portuguese case has always been a narrow profile, and that's just a feature of vintage watches in general, but as the Portuguese has been designed more or less to carry the design traits of the original into the modern era, that proportioning is continued. There is polish, but in judicious amounts. It's used as an accent, as jewelry. It doesn't dominate the watch. It never feels brash or garish like an hublot. If you've ever wondered why the watch is alternately called the Portuguese and the Portuguese, they mean the same thing. Portuguese Portuguese is English, Portuguese is Portuguese in the lingua franca, ironically German, of Schaffhausen. After all, IWC was the original and most prominent of the German Swiss watch brands. Now you can see here there is a dial of all applique numerals and they are applique art deco style that is late 1920s, early 1930s Arabic numerals and they are applied. They are not embossed or stamped from the underside of the dial. There are also small applique indices outboard of the numerals on the railroad style minutes track. At center you have Foy or leaf style hands for the hours and minutes and then a sunken sub register with a miniature railroad track and a lovely 60 index for the constant seconds. There is a blued hands for constant seconds and then a nice little aperture for the date at three o'clock which replaces one of the numerals. This is going to be a little bit contentious. Not everyone wants a date on a Portuguese or I actually like it. It makes the watch a bit more practical for me and more of an everyday option. It's also important to remember that the watch has fundamental modern refinements such as stop seconds and there is a quick set so you can rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. Now it's based on the 52,000 series automatic winding movement and this movement is the 59215. It's a 30 joule, five position adjusted, high grade IWC manufacturer caliber that as you can see is properly sized for the case. That is the mark of a true manufacturer. It doesn't feel adapted imperfectly for the purpose. I mentioned five position adjustment like a chronometer would be adjusted in five positions. There is a free sprung balance to take and hold those five positions of adjustment even in the face of shocks on the wrist and they can't quite see it from this distance. There is a handmade Breguet over coil hairspring to allow 
allow the watch to keep excellent time in any orientation with respect to gravity. The single immense mainspring barrel, which you can see is jeweled on both sides, gives the watch 192 hours of power reserve, and there is a hidden case-back power reserve indicator. While the standard 50,000 and 5,000 series movements before those were either 18,000 or 21.6 beat rate, this being part of the extended 52,000 series, this is technically the 59,000, it does have a high beat rate of 28,800 vibrations per hour. Now you can see there are handsome Cote de Genève across the bridges. There is a machine executed, but very handsome anglage, as you can see lighting up on the edge of the bridges. Then there's an engine turning on the base plate, and all the screw heads have been black polished. The watch is 30 meters water resistant, so no, this isn't an aquatic watch, but then again, you, you have an ingenieur or an aqua timer for that purpose. See this Portuguese hand wound and make it yours on the watch box.